Hello, my name is Mateusz and in this video I will show you how you can speed up manual testing and help your functional and technical teams by isolating your SAP system. During the conversion to the SAP S4HANA or any other SAP upgrades, you need to make sure that the business processes are working end-to-end. -end. Each of the business processes consists of multiple connections to external systems, EDI partners, and so on. One of the biggest factors for the project delays is the dependency on the external systems for testing. Let's have a look at the specific example and imagine that you are the SD functional expert who wants to validate whether the sales order message coming from your EDI partner is being posted successfully and whether the delivery creation process for the sales order works correctly. How would you test it then in the early stages of the project? The first option you have is to call the partner to send you some sample sales order messages with a specific details so that you can manually validate the posting and then create delivery for it. Of course, you are dependent then on the availability of the partner and it's very unlikely that your test message will be sent by the partner exactly at the time you want to start your testing. That is the reason why this option is rarely chosen at the beginning of the projects. The second option is to create a sales order by manually preparing the message and sending it via a Postman, SOAP UI, or by submitting the IDOC in the SAP system via W90T code. Test data preparation in such case is very time consuming and of course, it's prone to errors. What is then the alternative? Of course, the usage of the service virtualization based on the real historical messages. You can use messages sent by this partner that have been collected by INT4 robot. Thanks to this, you can replicate the exact message you need, in our example, the sales order. These historical messages can be the messages directly sent by the partner, like the EDFACT sales orders, that first are processed in the middleware like SAP PO or SAP Cloud integration, or the ones that are directly reaching your SAP system like orders of five IDOCs. Thanks to the proper categorization of the messages and test cases description, you can easily use the test case that you want with the right data. What is important to highlight is that due to this approach, you can use the messages that are good quality messages your company has already exchanged with your partners. So no more testing with dummy data. Let's have a look now how it works. First, we want to simulate the partner sending the message. So I just need to navigate to the right folder with my sales order message from this partner and I need to select the message for my scenario. I am interested in a message coming from the German partner. To start the process, instead of calling the partner and politely asking for a message and practicing at the same time a German, I can just click a single button and then the message will be sent to our SAP system simulating that it was sent by this partner. In the test cases execution details, I can see that the message was simulated. Thanks to the fact that we have created a purchase order variable, we can see the original value of the purchase order sent originally by the partner and a newly generated purchase order value for a test message. In this way, we can avoid posting duplicates. This and similar rules we can define during one-time action in the automation object. Okay, so now as the functional user, we simulated the message from the German EDI partner and thanks to that, we created a sales order. Now directly from the INT4 suite, we can take the new purchase order number and we can go to the SAP system to validate if the sales order is created properly and then we can continue with our manual process. So for example, we can create the delivery in the reference to the newly created sales order. With the service virtualization, the time needed for testing significantly shortens. I want to show you another example of the same process. As already explained, we can reuse the same message to post different variants by just using variables. In the previous example, we generated the purchase order number out of the number range, 
but multiple other options are available. For instance, for this test message, I created the variable that will replace the material number sent in the original message with the material I provide in the test case. In the original message, you can see that the product name was CEEXC300, but I can replace it with the CEEXC400. And again, to simulate this message, I click a single button. In the details, I can already see the replaced purchase order and material numbers. To make sure it worked, I can go to the VAO3 transaction to see if the sales order with my new material number exists. In our wiki page, you can find all the available options on how to deal with variables. I hope you can see that simulating messages by using INT4 API Tester isolates your SAP system and allows you to perform testing faster and at the exact time you really need it. Personally, as a person quite impatient, I really like it. And that is just the beginning, because on top of the decoupling and simulating, we can also perform automatic validation. But this is something for another video. Thank you for watching.